There's always a rare occasion where a film starts off pretty clumsy but ends pretty good. So today, I'll talk about the five movies saved by their ending. Do you agree with my picks? Be sure to tell me in the comments and let's begin. Number 5. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas This may be a stretch, but I can say that nobody would be talking about this film if it wasn't for the dark ending. Most of the movie is good, but also kind of forgettable. It's not until the end of the film that sticks with you. Jesus, I watched this film two years ago, but I still remember that ending as if it was yesterday. I would strongly recommend this film from beginning to end, but I will warn you the ending is pretty dark. Number 4, The Prestige This film is an interesting one. For most of the movie, you don't know half of what's happening. It's confusing because it feels like the fifth of the movie is being cut out. And that's because it is. If you don't already know, The Prestige is about rival magicians trying to outdo each other. Now, not trying to give away too much information, it's a film that you don't really get until the end. The plot twist is probably my second favorite plot twist of all time, next to The Visit. Not only is it shocking, but the plot twist adds to a story in a way that makes the film even better. The plot twist at the end is what holds the movie together, and if you do ever come across this film, remember to watch till the end to get the full effect. Number 3, The Titanic. I watched The Titanic last week and was really underwhelmed. The characters are cliched, the love story drags down the plot, and the rich people stereotypes are really repetitive after a while. I was about to turn it off, but then the ship started sinking, and from that point on, I remembered why I liked this film. Almost everything you see here is not CGI. They really did practical effects. They really did flood a hallway with water. You feel the desperation to get off the ship with the characters. But it also has good commentary on discrimination. Even the characters that I found so repetitive actually become more human and relatable. So if you ever watch the Titanic, skip to the part where the ship sinks to save yourself an hour and 30 minutes. Number 2, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues The first Anchorman movie is one of the funniest movies of all time. I don't think there is one line in that movie that hasn't been quoted to death. That being said, the sequel was an obvious drop of quality from the original. There are some jokes at work and it still has some great quotes, but a lot of the charm of the original is gone and can be pretty mediocre at times. But then the fight happens between the news networks. And that is one of my favorite comedy scenes of all time. It's not even one of the funniest comedy scenes of all time. I don't think I laughed more than 10 times. But just seeing all these A-list actors you never thought would be in a comedy is incredible. And seeing all of them fight each other in the most ridiculous ways just brought up all the things I loved about the first film. You can tell that the writers had fun with the scene, with all the different types of TV networks they could think of. If you ever want to see your favorite actors fighting each other and just having fun with their material, then the finale of this movie is where you should go. And before we go on to our number one, let's go on to our honorable mentions. Free Guy this may seem weird, but it wasn't until the second half of the film where I started finding it funny. The film makes the mistake of assuming that you watch the trailers and you know what's happening. But if you haven't watched the trailers and you don't know that they're in a video game, it can be a little bit awkward at times as you're playing catch up. The second half makes up for it though with heart and hilarious moments. Planet of the Apes and the Sith Sense they are both fine movies, but nobody would really talk about them that much if it wasn't for the plot twist. They are both still good movies, but they really start to come apart at the end. And the number one movie, saved by its ending, is Old Henry. If you're unfamiliar with this film, there's a reason. It flew under a lot of people's radar and didn't make that much money in the box office. And I can see why. The film can be slow at times, and it's about a guy who used to be a very famous man, is now an old man who is trying to escape his brutal past and trying to escape the police 
tried to move on with his life and is sorry for everything he's done and trying to find redemption. Wait, no, not that movie, this movie. Redemption can be light at times and the villain is sidelined for the majority of the film. But then we get to the final showdown, and everything starts to make a lot more sense. And once again we have a plot twist to talk about. I won't talk about the plot twist at the end more than I need to, but I didn't know what to feel when it happened. The plot twist kind of came out of nowhere, but when I thought about it more, it made more sense. It explained why Henry is in the middle of nowhere, why he's good at fighting, why he doesn't want to teach his son how to shoot a gun, why his brother won't tell him them who his real name is. It is all explained with this plot twist, and the story starts to make a lot more sense. But then you get to the final fight, and it's the most intense scene in this movie. He starts tearing these guys apart, and even shoots a bad guy in the face. This may be one of the best final fights in any western movie in the last 10 years. Normally in western movies there are a couple of guys staring at each other, waiting for the other one to draw, and then the hero shoots the bad guy. He's not scratched, he's not hurt, and there's normally not much to it. But this fight is brutal. The bad guy chases him into the woods, they both get shot multiple times, the villain gets shot in the face, and the only reason Henry doesn't die is because he's out of bullets. That is really brutal, that is really, really violent, and I ate it up. I don't have a problem with the normal two-man duels. Some of them are my favorite movie scenes of all time. But seeing these two men, at their weakest point, shooting each other until one can't stand was very refreshing. From slow, generic western to one of my favorite movies I saw in 2022 so far, I can confidently say that this is the best movie saved by its ending. You know, if there is anything you can learn from these movies, it's that a film can redeem itself in a few minutes. I personally almost never walk out of a movie because I always have faith that I'll become good somewhere down the line. It normally doesn't happen, but when it does, I can't help but appreciate the film more. There are a lot of movies I want to put on this list, but most of them were covered on Nostalgia Critics episode. So if you want to see more, go watch him. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell and have a great day.